Hey Aries, Sunny, and this is your love reading for December 2016. Hopefully you guys can take account on all that you've done, change it, and understand what you get back in return. Please forgive me for uploading this video late. I'm trying to get back on track and it seems like every time I try to get back on track, something always comes up and just takes me to laugh. <laughs> and maybe you guys are going through the same thing as well where you know you, you you try to turn your life around you try to make everything okay but something just throws a wrench at you and you have to bounce back and you have to come back but how do you come back Aries do you come back strong do you come back confused or do you come back seeking help from others I feel like uh, for your love reading oh yeah by the way Sorry, honey, I just got deep into the read, child. Um, I'm going to do everything in this one video. I'm still going to do the single, taken, and married um, reading for you guys. So, yeah, I just want to do things differently. Like, I get bored so easily. <laughs> so, yeah. And plus, it's, it's better for me time-wise. time, time -wise. Okay, the angels, they want me to confess this to you guys. Because I feel like, you know, it's going to resonate with you. My problem is, I'm very generous. I give a lot of my time to people. And I tend to ignore me. And I feel like, you know, maybe you guys are dealing with the same thing. Like, maybe you feel like you aren't appreciated. Or you feel like people are taking you for granted. And you're, it's like you're doing the best you can, but what about me? What about you supporting me? What about you making me happy? What about a simple thank you? What about a simple kiss, a simple hug, a thank you card? You guys are, are looking for this thank you. Or you're looking for this gratitude from people or a particular person. But first I'm going to do you guys as general. And this is going to apply... Regardless of if you are single dating or in a relationship. Or taken, excuse me. Alright, give me nine cards. What's going on for Aries for December 2016. Okay. I feel for some of you, either you or your partner is taking pregnancy tests during this time. There may be talks of traveling via airplane. So far, a lot of yellow. Okay. Okay, these two cards came out together. Seems like you guys are starting new beginnings with love. Okay. This is, in fact, a beautiful reading. I find it very interesting how you guys have three eights and three threes that's very powerful to me three represents understanding the past present and future and finding happiness with all the past present and future celebrating bringing a life into the world bringing happiness into the world forgiving and also eight represents you guys you're on the right path you are where you need to be. It may not seem like it. it. It may seem a bit weird, but, you know, you are where you are for a reason. You have so many lessons to learn. And also, eight represents honestly expansion. So some of you that maybe talks of pregnancies or you're bringing this new life or maybe you are... Um, Receiving this new job that's going to help you and your family. But you guys are coming into December wanting change. Wanting principle. Because you're understanding that, damn, it's, it's December already? Next month is going to be 2017. I want to start my year feeling happy. Maybe last year. You know, January 2016, maybe you guys weren't happy. Maybe there was this sense of lost. 
and you had to bounce back from that and it's kind of making me think about when I said you guys have to bounce back how do you bounce back from going left or things not going your way how do you bounce back Aries but I do feel like you guys are in this place of status you're coming to realize who you are and you're coming to realize what you want from this love. I do feel like there's a big pregnancy for a lot of you. So if you aren't ready, honey, get ready. I mean, you know what you have to do if you aren't ready. But it's like you're celebrating <clears throat> with new life. Maybe there's new life in a relationship or... You feel as if your relationships are differently because you decided to let go of the past. You decided to move forward. Maybe it was hard for you to. Maybe you had to pick up your dignity, but it was worth it because you took the time or you need to take the time to improve. And I feel like the grass is so much greener on the other side. Interesting. I said that for the, uh, I believe the Aquariuses or the Virgos. I can't exactly remember who. Um, if I remember to write it down, I would write it down who I said it for. Um, but who knows, honey. Maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius or a Libra. <clears throat> or this is somebody who embodies this energy in the chart. I feel like you guys are in this place of wanting acceptance. And I've been saying that for you guys for some time. Like, just, just wanting to feel wanted. That song by Hunter Hayes, Wanted, is playing in my head. Maybe you guys are, you know, showing somebody, hey, I appreciate you. But you want somebody to do this to you in return. I do feel where some of you, you need to let go of this fear that your partner is going to cheat on you or you're never going to find love. I do see you guys walking away from those emotions and that guilt. You're understanding that you're going to have to change. Like all the fucking way change. There's no more, okay, I'm doing pretty good, but damn, my ex hurt me. I'm still healing from that. Because I see where many of you, you're going back and forth, back and forth. And it's kind of like you're putting yourself in between a rock and a hard place. How does it feel, Aries? Does it feel good? Is it comfortable? <laughs> you guys definitely need to get out of this comfort zone. Because I feel like your comfort zone isn't comfortable. It's very discouraging. And I feel like you guys will come to realize that you're going to have to work on yourself or work on your relationship. I'm getting a strong message for those who are single. Um, you're really going to focus more on your career. You want to attract somebody who's just as ready as you are. I feel for some of you, you may be a single mom. And you want your child to look at you like, Mommy, I'm so proud of you. And maybe your baby is telling you that now. And your baby is like your sunshine. They're giving you that push. And I hear, oh, okay. I get so emotional, you guys. I'm sorry. I hear you guys say, I want to be strong for my baby. I want to be an example for my baby. And that's so beautiful. That is so beautiful. And you guys are getting that backbone. I feel like this month is going to be very emotional for you. But not not a bad emotional. I just feel like there's just energy of happiness, new life, new love. Whether this is new love with other people or new love with yourself. Who cares? Regardless of how you get this new love, just know new love is coming in. And I feel like this is something that you waited so long for. I feel like there's an issue with the parent who isn't around. And they may come back. Whether they, you know, give you a phone call, and if this parent isn't, you know, deceased, they may reach to you in your dream. 
You may even see them or hear their voice. But I feel like this person comes to you with a message. And I feel like regardless of what they say, whether it's negative or positive, you're going to truly realize that you can't take on their pain. I said this for, oh my God, who did I say this for? I believe the Aquariuses. I truly believe the Aquariuses. I can't remember. Um, so some of you may be dealing with a strong Aquariuses. Like, they have that in their chart. Or this is somebody... The way to describe this person, they're very cold. I hate to say, like, that's what I got. But they're so sweet. Like, when they are sweet, they're very sweet. But I feel like this person, they've been taken advantage of. And, you know, they've been hurt. But, you know, this person, they're going to have to get over it. They are. And they are going to have to open up to you. And I feel like that's all you want. It's for that one person who you have feelings for or who you love. Like, you just want them to understand, I'm not going to hurt you. I may be silly, annoying, and stubborn sometimes, but I'm not going to hurt you. And, you know, I feel like maybe you and your partner need to talk about what's going on. Ask them, do you feel like I need to be doing a little bit more? You know, what can I do to make you happy? And, you know, a lot of times when we ask that question, what can I do to make you happy? The other person always replies with, you're supposed to know that. In some cases, yeah. <laughs> I mean, in some cases, yeah. But not all of us are mind readers. A lot of times we get so wrapped up with ourselves and our own worries and our own fears that we forget about the other person and what they want and, and their own fears and, and their sadnesses. So I feel like, you know, you and your partner or you and your potential partners, there's like you're wrapped in fear. Or you understand that you have to move forward. But there's this fear of moving forward. I feel for some of you, somebody, I keep going back to this doing it on your own. Feeling as if you have a lot on your plate. And it's taking me back to the single mom deal. I feel, you know, that Things may be a bit stressful for some of you. Maybe you aren't working as much. Your hours are being cut. You know, and this is affecting the relationship because, honey, we got rent, we got bills, what are we supposed to be doing? And I feel that, you know, you're trying to add up everything. And I also feel for some of you, sorry I'm not in the camera, I'm sorry. Um, I, what I'm seeing right here. Is you and your partner, you're talking to somebody about getting a loan or prolonging a bill, like asking for more time to pay a bill. And I do feel like you guys will receive help. Or just in general, like you will receive help with your relationship. I do feel like you guys need to pray together because this is a very spiritual card. And with it being in the middle, you guys definitely need to just be one. Because that's what relationships are about. Two people coming together to make something happen. Some of you may be dealing with an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel um, that some of you, whether this is a potential partner, maybe marriage or relationship. Somebody has an issue with wanting things their way. And this may be you as well. <laughs> and I'm seeing where you guys are honestly going to have to be considerate. Of feelings and emotions. And some of you are definitely going to have to kind of pick up your slack. I am seeing this. And some of you are going to have to... Maybe let somebody go. I'm seeing that as well. And some of you kind of don't want to. Because you saw potential in this person. 
Maybe you dreamt of this person before this person even entered into your life. And you're like, oh, it has to be. I, I dreamt of this person. I had a dream that I had a baby with this person. Way before I met them. It's supposed to be. And you will do everything in your power to make it happen. And to be with this person, even if it's hurting you. And you know it's going to hurt you. You just want to make it work because you dreamt of it. Honey, I've been there, done that. And when I tell you I got hurt, I got hurt. <laughs> because I wasn't paying attention to the signs. All I saw was, ooh, this person, I dreamt of this person before they came in my life. And a lot of times, you guys need to be mindful of reality. And I feel like this is what's hitting you. You know, reality of what's coming. Reality of what you need, or of what you need to do. To enhance and improve your relationship or marriage. But you guys are definitely being blessed with something. And it's a very beautiful thing. Don't take for granted of, you know, the blessings and the small things. If your partner cleans up, say thank you. If your partner buys you a random rose, say thank you. Be thankful for the small things. And I do feel like this month, you guys, the small things is going to allow for you to see the bigger picture. Because the small things, it kind of is like paying attention to the details. I feel like there needs to be important talks, you know, in regards to how your partner feel, how you feel. And you guys need to really understand. With the Ten of Wands, for some reason I'm hearing compromise. Instead of allowing for your partner to do things on their own, say, hey, I'm willing to work with you. I'm willing to support you. I just feel like, you know, that's all you guys need during this time. It's support and your, maybe your partner needs the same thing. Please watch what you say. Because words, they can hurt. They do. I do feel like this month is very beautiful for you guys in regards to relationships. Um, I feel like, you know, an issue may be you guys getting out of your comfort zone. Like I said, it seems like you guys are stuck in between this rock and the hard place. Is it comfortable? It doesn't seem that comfortable to me. But once you guys, you know, really open up your eyes and you're like, oh, hey, you know, yes, I've dealt with this for a long time. Or I'm hearing some of you say I've dealt with this marriage for a long time. But now it's time to work on me. And I, I feel like, you know, it's going to be good for you to work on you. Whatever you want to do is going to work for you. If you want to make something work and your partner is willing to make something work if you are in a relationship, then I feel like it's going to work in your favor. However, if you are dealing with somebody who's stubborn and criticizes you and doesn't want to make it work, you're going to have to let go of this, I want this to work, this desire to work. And really put yourself first. I feel for some of you, there may be an issue with self-esteem. Maybe you've dealt with a lot of people who brought you down so much and you are starting to believe it. Back to this whole comfort zone deal. It's time for you to walk away from that. Alright? But once again, I do feel like there's beautiful blessings coming in. You guys are receiving so much. So much love. So much joy. Sunshine. <laughs> um... Yeah, but, you know, I feel like in regards to the rain, you guys are going to receive some, you know, rainy days. But rain is beautiful. It's very, very beautiful because that's when things grow. So allow for pain to enhance you. Allow for pain to make you grow. And maybe it's going to be painful with you having to walk away. But once again. Pain is growth. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Now, oi lordy. These two cards popped out. So it's really interesting. Be careful for some of you procrastinating. For real, for real. Let's see what's going on. 
four single Aries. All right, I'm going to still do the same layout for you guys as uh, I used to do. But I'm just going to show you guys the cards this time. Single Aries. Let's go. I don't know why I'm saying Aries. I talk so funny, you guys. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on for Aries. For December 2016. What's going on for Aries? Excuse me. I'm getting the energy of, um, oh my God, what is his name? Not Zeus. Is it Hades? I believe it was Hades. I may be wrong. Um, the movie Hercules, the devil, I'm seeing him. So that's interesting. Some of you may be dealing with the devil. Who knows? But I am picking up that you guys may have a lot of admirers during this time. Or you need to protect yourself from these admirers. Because, you know, some people may not be good for you. I hate to say. But I do feel like you guys, you are changing. Or you are realizing that change is a beautiful thing. I also feel like you guys need to be careful of you mistaking love and lust. Okay? Um, also, this may be a very fun time for you. And you may run yourself ragged because you're always traveling. These two cars have got together. So some of you may be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. This may be their sun, their moon, and their horizon. Um, okay, I'm picking up like two different people. I feel that it's like you're talking to somebody who's very dark, sexy, and tall. But I feel like this person, they always work a lot, or they're always busy, or they're very slow with wanting commitment. Either they're slow at texting you, and it's very annoying. But then I also feel like there's somebody who's very youthful, young, and fun. Um, but they're a party boy or a party girl. And it's just like, okay, when are you going to grow the hell up? And I feel like these people, you can uh, learn something from both of these admirers. But I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, you guys are going to have to understand yourself. <laughs> and if these people are truly worth your time. But on, a, on another note, some of you may be really focused on career and school. So I am picking up that this may honestly be a fun time for you guys. But you guys do need to be mindful of, you know real time and play time and make sure that you don't have too much play time all right um i do feel like you guys deserve it don't get me wrong you know i'm not trying to be your mom or anything but i am picking up where there's going to be a big distraction or your finances may suffer due to you having too much fun or you're supporting somebody during this time and when i say support that's the wrong word I'm sorry, I take that back. I feel like you may like go to the club and you may pay for your, you know, your residential partners or you may take them out to eat. Okay. Make sure you aren't the only one doing everything. Please. But there uh there may be talks of traveling. But on another note, I do feel like some of you, you're just really thinking about your career and you're thinking about your future and you just uh you're not really <sighs> too serious about love let people know that because you don't want to lead anybody on please be careful of lies and deception and you're dealing with somebody who's kind of using you and it's taking me back to what i just said you doing a lot for this person you're um getting them into clubs you're paying for their dinner you're paying for their lunch you're putting gas in their car or you are always traveling to see them you know be careful of this because i do see where somebody is taking advantage of you so I do feel like you guys will, you know, gain a lesson learned with with uh, everything that's going on. But some of you kind of maybe like in your shell is what I'm picking up. Like maybe I'm reading for a lot of Aries. So if my readings seem kind of like jumpy, please forgive whatever spirit wants me to talk about. I'm going to talk about it even if it's two different topics. So if it resonates with you, take that. If not, then it wasn't meant for you. But if you are the Aries who just wants to be to their self and you're just focused on career and um, you're focused on school, um, I do feel... <coughs> 
that you guys are just going to be to yourself. And I feel like this is going to be a really nice time for you. But I do feel where you guys are going to kind of reminisce on love. And this may cause for you guys to go in this weird, nostalgic, like, mindset where you may even call up the past lover. Be aware of this energy, okay? Um, but I also feel that right now it truly seems like relationships are just going to be kind of weird like love partners are just going to be excuse me love potentials it may be kind of weird because i feel like you know these people aren't really ready for commitment during this time and it's just kind of like what can you give and do for me instead of i want to understand your soul and your mind <coughs> I do see where some of you may be chasing after somebody. I feel like this person may be um, a Scorpio or a Libra. Okay. Um, so be careful of you chasing after this person because I feel like this person is kind of walking away from you. But good luck with everything. All right. Aries who are in relationship. For December, okay, Lordy. For December 2016. What's going on for Aries who are in relationship? Give me five cards. I'm still going to do um, the same layout for you guys. I'm just showing the cards this time. So I am picking up with you guys. You wanting to think of the future. You have your eyes set out on how you want things to be. But in order for you to have that... You're going to have to do it. So I feel like so far from this one card, the energy wants you guys to be mindful of your actions. Instead of fantasizing, do it. But I do see where there needs to be change. So some of you may be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Or you have this in your chart. Okay. And this may be their sun, their moon, and their horizon. But I feel like that there may be talks of pregnancies. Or you're just really appreciating the relationship. Um, I do feel like you guys need to be careful of the foods that you consume during this time for some reason. Um, because I am picking up like you guys may be eating out a lot. Well, I mean, this is the holiday season. So, yeah, maybe you guys are eating at your parents' house, whatever the case may be. Um, so, food. <laughs> food may be the highlight of this relationship. <laughs> I know that's weird. But I do see where you guys are just going to get your grub on. Wow. So this definitely talks of pregnancies. Most deaf. Um, some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Maybe a Pisces. Um, but I also feel like um, finances are coming in. So if there are any financial worries, just know that blessings will come in. But I do feel like you guys need to be considerate of each other's feelings. Open up to each other. Please be careful of drinking. Um, and comparing your assets to each other. I also feel like you guys need to be considerate of where your partner is coming from and what they want from you and vice versa. Okay. Um, please be careful of you just being too clingy or your partner being too clingy. Okay. These two cards came out together too. So I feel like financially things are going to be all right. Just give things time. Okay, um, okay, interesting. I also feel like this is going to be a very beautiful time for you guys to be open and just really understand where your partner is coming from. Um, th there's this whole dependent, independent deal going on, so maybe you want more freedom and your partner wants to be up close to you and vice versa. I feel like you guys are kind of operating on different wavelengths, but it will come into play very soon some of you may be dealing with a water sign camp uh cancer pisces and scorpio and this would be their sun and moon and other rising i feel like hey be careful of you obsessing about your partner or it's just like you're always wondering what they're doing you, you have to know what they're doing um i just feel like honestly you guys need to understand if there needs to be more space in the relationship but honestly i do feel like this is the cards are very beautiful don't get me wrong and this is a very beautiful time but you guys need to be careful of you overstepping your boundaries and your partner doing the same as well you guys are going to definitely be in sync with your partner there is a really big risk for pregnancies so if you aren't ready for that 
then don't. I feel that um some of you don't. I'm not trying to like offend anybody, but there may be like really good drunk sex, <laughs> and you guys may conceive during that. Um, I also feel like you guys kind of need to be careful of you feeling like oh this is too good to be true. I mean maybe maybe who knows but um just enjoy the relationship and enjoy the moment and be kind to each other and like really i'm hearing respond like be careful of how you respond and be mindful of how your partner responds during this time i do feel like if there are financial worries things will work out for you guys there's big abundance and growth heading you guys this way and celebration and happiness so um just you know give everything time you guys have three re um three threes and two nines so that's really interesting um some of you may be dealing with a psychic or somebody who's really intuitive and i feel like you need to help this person get back on their a game or like just really <coughs> um some of you i hate to say this because i heard consume consume be careful of you still in your partner's energy and vice versa Okay, um, this may cause some conflict, but I feel like everything is going to be all right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading. Good luck with everything. Okay, let's see what's going on for married Christ. Not a Christ, it's Aries. Lordy, Lordy, Lord, please forgive me. Married Aries for December 2016. What's going on? Give me five cards. I'm going to do things the same. I'm going to show you guys these cards. Okay, this card popped out. Queen of Wands. Fell reversed. I'm taking this as a sign that some of you... If maybe your partner or just a situation that you guys are going through is kind of throwing you off kettle. Interesting because... um. The Aries who were in a relationship got the same thing. So, I guess, you know, you guys are operating on different wavelengths. And you're going to have to get back on track. Um, please be careful of you assuming uh, when it comes to infidelity. If you feel this way, talk to your partner and really, really, really talk to them and ask them. If you want to snoop and spy, honey, you can. It's your life. You can do what you want. Um, but I just feel like, you know, there's a sense of tiredness. And maybe cattiness. Maybe your partner is really bossy. Uh, or maybe this is you. You know, this is the queen of wands. Maybe you guys are, you know, coming from a place of bossiness and attitude. Okay. Um, maybe there's some issues in regards to your menstrual cycle for my Aries women. All right, let's see what's going on. Give me five cards for Aries who are married for December 2016. So I am picking up that, yes, you guys definitely need to look for truth during this time. Be careful of you coming off very defensive and guarded. Because I I, I do see where your words um, is going to affect you and possibly hurt you down the line. Um, I do feel like there may be an issue with miscommunication. And be careful of you or your partner telling white lies. Interesting how we saw with the ace, and then we continue with the ten of swords. So I feel like, you guys, maybe you need to jump over a hurdle, a really big hurdle, in order for you to um, get to the end of something. That's sown by boys to men, end of the road. Um, maybe you guys are coming to an end of a weird cycle in the marriage, or you need to break um, break weird cycles, honey. It just depends. But I, I, I am picking up on, like, there's this, this weird energy of hurt and sadness for some of you. Um, some of you are really, really tired. There may be back problems. Please be careful of you guys victimizing and, um, criticizing each other. So, if you really want to make this marriage work, you guys are going to have to do things differently. You need to trust your intuition. And you need to just find the joy in the relationship. And it brings me back to the journal reading when I said, rain is okay. Tears are okay. Because they are giving us signs of growth. 
you're watering things that need to grow. So some of you, you do need to be mindful of you. And I feel like there's a, a strong connection with your root chakra. Because I'm thinking about earth. Um, the root chakra is the element of earth. And it also represents financial security and instincts. And um, I feel like, you know, you guys need to get back on that. You need to get back on you. And what you need to do to make you happy. And if your partner is making you happy as well. Okay. So please be careful of fights and arguments. I will say that much. But also, there's room for improvement. There is. But you guys are definitely going to think outside the box. Stop assuming. Stop doing the same shit if it's not working. Okay. In order for you to be here again instead of this way, you are going to have to look at yourself and say, okay, what am I doing? Am I not supporting my partner or am I not supporting myself? Because at the end of the day, even though relationships and marriages allows for us to be one. Understand that you are that half that makes that one. And if that half is dwindling away or it isn't strong enough, then that other person's become weak. So ask yourself, am I... A strength or a weakness in this marriage. Hopefully that makes sense. But regardless, I do feel like you guys are going to be alright. Okay. You you guys are going to receive great insight to your marriage. Some of you are maybe dealing with another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or water sign. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And this may be their sun, their moon, and their rising. Please be careful of you listen to other people. Like, um... <coughs> maybe you're talking to your family and they're like, Oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. Take their take their advice into consideration, but you are the one dealing with your partner. You chose your partner. So, at the end of the day, whose opinion matters the most? Yours. And I feel like you guys need to be considerate of that. I also feel for some of you, you need to be careful of you being in an abusive relationship. Okay? But the card on the bottom, you know, I, I do feel like there is a sense of limbo. Or there's this fear of being in limbo. But regardless, I do feel like you guys need to get back in sync with your partner. Okay? You need to stop hanging yourself. Either you need to speak up or walk out. What do you want to do, Aries? Um, but regardless, you know, I do feel like things will be alright. They may be a bit hasty. But I do feel like, you know, this is going to be a very beautiful time if you guys are willing to communicate. And you're willing to put the past in the past and seek for clarity and do things differently and repair the relationship and be honest about your feelings. I feel like things will be all right. Okay? Because you guys, this is you. You need to get back and sync. You need to feel powerful. You need to feel beautiful, handsome. You need to feel as if you are in charge. You guys love to be the leader. And some of you may not feel like that. So you're going to have to get back in charge. You need to you need to be the one that's going to have to be the example for your partner. All right? So hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Good luck with everything. And I shall be back for January. Bye.